Ready? Cue the new intro! Hey everyone, PJ here, and I don't know where to start with this video. This video is about a YouTuber called Ali Coca, someone who I used to look up to until fairly recently. Now, before I start off, let me just say, please watch the whole video before commenting, okay? Okay. So, this whole situation started with a short Ollie made defending Mr. Beast while attacking Dogpack 404, clearly not having watched the full video. In this video, Ollie doesn't actually debunk any of Dogpack's claims and instead just insults him. So when you got this nasally, inbred looking little bitch throwing a bunch of unproven allegations towards Mr. Beast, it goes viral cause negativity sells. This clout chaser made a video painting Jimmy in the negative, and as a result, we got a herd of sheep calling for Jimmy's cancellation. Here is a short list of all the good things that Jimmy has done to make this world a better place, which people are so quick to forget. I would have wrote down a lot more, but I ran out of room. I wonder if the people hating on Jimmy have done even 1% of the good deeds that he has. Yeah. You could even see in that clip I just showed you that Ollie didn't even watch the full video. And yes, while it is true that Jimmy has done a bunch of good things, that doesn't mean he's safe from criticism, especially given some of his current allegations. This will later come back to bite Coca in the ass. Now what I would have done in his shoes is take the video down, admit that I messed up, apologize, and promise to do better. And I'm sure Ollie would do the same thing and not just double down and insult his fans, right? After getting hounded with requests to give my thoughts on the Mr. Beast video faking drama, I gave my honest opinion about it and I knew that would attract the parasitic shit diggers. And I was right! They were lured to my video like a moth to a flame! Afterwards, I took a day off after making videos for 65 days straight and nursed my headache. All the while, the shit diggers thought I was stepping away because of their backlash. So they invaded the comments of many of my other videos, increasing my virality. Which got me more ad revenue as I rested. And all the while, they thought they had the upper hand. To my regular viewers, I appreciate y'all being cool with me taking a day off. And to the shit diggers, I made you my bitch. I gave you permission to serve an actual earthly function and you did not disappoint. Y'all deserve a nice meal after that dismantling. My final message to you idiots is checkmate, bud. Tell me you can't take criticism without telling me you can't take criticism. I mean, having a bad take is one thing, but imagine going out of your way to attack your audience, calling them shit diggers after you receive criticism. Ollie, you are the human equivalent of a participation trophy, for fuck's sake. I know this has already been said, but the people calling you out are not shit diggers, they're your fans. Dude, everyone knows that people who criticize my bad takes are shit diggers, just like people who disagree with me politically are fascist neo-Nazis. Now, if it ended here, I would wrap this video up and give my final thoughts. But it gets worse from here. For context, Ali Coco was recently falsely accused of receiving an erotic massage from an underage girl in Thailand. The person who started this accusation was Dr. Sonic V2, who posted a now deleted video accusing Coco of being a predator, citing this video that Ali uploaded onto a second channel. And he's like, okay, turn around now. And at this point, I haven't looked back once. See, like, I'm just like looking like this the entire time. And she's like, okay, turn around now. I, okay, I turn around, and she had taken her top off, right? I'm like, okay, here we go. And you know, I kind of know what's going to happen next. Like, I'm, I'm educated enough to know. Then she makes the offer. She's like, okay, uh, do you want anything more? So I paid originally 500 baht to enter for the massage, which is probably like 18 American dollars. So like that, I, I could have walked out right there, got that massage, no happy ending for $18. And, I, and it'd be okay. But of course, the way they make more money is they offer you special services. And she offered me two things. She's like, I can give you a hand job for 1,000 baht or a blow job for 1,500 baht. Right? I'm like, okay. So 1,000 baht, that's like, what, 35 American dollars? Now, do I think Ollie is a predator? Short answer, no. While it is weird that he'd upload a video bragging about getting a handy, even though a majority of his viewers are kids, which he's fully aware of, there's no concrete proof that he's a predator, nor do I have any reason to believe he is one. In fact, Dr. Sonic V2 even went back on this claim. Do I think he's an idiot? Absolutely, but not a predator. Another YouTuber named Coco Crazy made a video criticizing Ollie for his various mistakes, while also defending him from the Predator allegations. Ollie, not actually having watched the full video because he has the attention span of an iPad kid with ADHD, left in this comment. It's really not cool to be spreading lies and false information like this, bud. You should make an update video instead of a simple pinned comment. I'm calling you out. 
When you tell your viewers the truth instead of bullshitting them, clearly referring to the Predator allegations, even though Coco Crazy disagreed with them, which you would know if you actually watched the full video, you ass pirate! I'm not going to put pet on my thumbnail because that would be jumping to a very serious allegation that there's no proof for. Honestly, don't think this YouTuber should have done that. Just because you can't really take a statistic of how many girls are underage and prove Ali A, that they knew they were underage, and B, that they even were underaged. Unlikely. Creep, though, very likely. I mean, Dog Pack's video was an hour long, and Ali Coca makes videos daily, so I can kind of understand him not having the time to sit down and watch an hour long video, but Coco Crazy's video was literally just a little bit over seven minutes. If you're too lazy to watch a seven minute video, there is something seriously wrong with you. But now, Ali Coca is threatening to sue Coco Crazy for slandering him, even though she didn't do anything. Because I told him he's rude to his audience and women, which is my opinion, he has recently commented under a video he wants to sue specifically me, because I exaggerated the title. I'm going to be honest, I am scared right now, so let me fill you in on the background of how this even happened. It all started when I came across a video accusing Ali Coca of being a pedophile. I watched the video, which is him talking about getting a massage. The person who made this video claims Ali may have slept with an underage girl, which I decided to talk about in my video where I specifically said this statement was incorrect. So strange you would release this, of course. I'm not going to put pet on my thumbnail because that would be jumping to a very serious allegation that there's no proof for. Honestly, don't think this YouTuber should have done that. Just because you can't really take a statistic of how many girls are underage and prove Ali, A, that they knew they were underage, and B, that they even were underage. Unlikely. Creep, though, very likely. Imagine being a fully grown adult and threatening to sue a 16-year-old because she criticized you. I mean, if you want to sue someone for defamation, sue Dr. Sonic V2, since he's the one who made the predator accusation to begin with, not Coco Crazy. A grown man suing a literal child for saying that he fell off just reeks of insecurity. And Ollie, if you're watching this, First off, congratulations for making this far into the video. I know that must have been hard for you. Second, make sure you go after the right person next time because this is not a good look for your image. But of course, I want to know your opinion on this. I strongly encourage you to do your own research on this topic and come to your own conclusion instead of taking my word at face value. That includes you, Ollie. And as always, my name is PJ and... You know what? I'm in the mood to read a book. Let me, let me order a book real quick. What the fuck kind of Dan Schneider shit is this?